it. You're so dumb. What are you doing? Hey, loser. Good job, loser. That's a four. You're dumb. This dude chilling in his pool, just hanging out in the backyard. Happens to be a cricket match going on. That's awesome. Gets to watch Kieran Pollard pull this ball out of the sky. Save the six. Help the team win the match. A big dude all nimbly like that. We're going to get into that and a lot more. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching from last weekend. A little fun sport Friday for you. Let's do it. So let's go straight to that catch by Kyron Pollard. One-handed grab. Now in cricket, you can't be touching the ball and have your feet out of bounds or touching the boundary at the same time. So you have to catch it, throw it up, get your feet back, jump back over to the other side, catch it again for it to count. And he does that, a big dude, 35 years old. He was captain of the West Indies for a little bit, just retired from international cricket. And on the flip side, look at the psychopath. He puts the helmet on and stands right in the way of the batsman to get hit on purpose. That's ridiculous. These balls are cement. Look, bam, whacks him right in the thigh. Tries to catch it on the ricochet. Picks it up, goes, uh, you're going to hit me? I'm going to hit you. Guy's like, well, you're standing there. And he's like, yeah, what of it? Go around me. Worst review of the week goes to the Latvian tennis player, Yelena Ostapenko. She says, was that in? That was in, right? Let's review it. Mm-mm. They review it. It's a quick, it's a quick, uh, no. Wrong. Hey, Orioles, wait your turn. Chaos is already coming in the PLL. The seven seed Chaos defeated, upset the two seed Chrome. Although, I don't really know if it's an upset. Is Chaos won the championship last year as the six seed. They're the seven seed now. They kind of don't do the regular season. Meanwhile, Chrome were awful last year. They drafted really well. Now they finished second place, but they only scored three goals in the postseason match last week, which I was kind of like, why? That's really low. They averaged 12 during the regular season. No, only one other game in the whole regular season had a team score three or less, and it's all because of this dude, Blaze Reardon. Goalie of the year three times in a row. MVP of the finals last year. Regarded as one of the best lacrosse goalies ever. Does this kid, does he look like a guy who likes lax, blaze, and chaos? Absolutely. So good job by Blaze And They move on to the next round. This was my favorite goal of the match. A little here you go, there I am, there I went, you're gone. You're gone. Dish it to the middle. He goes this way, and now I'm going whoopsie behind the back. Enjoy the offseason season. You're done. We're moving on. The under-19 futsal championship started last weekend. Pool play, and the Ukraine scored the fastest goal in tournament history right there against Croatia to go up 1-0. But then they're down 4-0 in the second half. There you go. There's one. Let's go. They're pumped up about it. The next is a free kick. Too easy. Then a corner to tie it. Beautiful. Tie game. They're going nuts. They're kissing cameras. They're prepping. You still got to take the lead. Box them out. Spin move. A little chip. Beautiful. A little kiss. Beautiful. Ukraine does it. They move on. They beat the next team. Ah, Let's go. Futsal. All right, let's do it in the water now. Air Force is down one goal. Less than a minute to go. They got the ball. They shoot a save by Diaz from St. Francis of Brooklyn. What a save. It's a very big clutch save by that guy. Now there's 35 seconds left. Air Force has the ball again. They dish it to that guy who goes reverse shot. Not tricked was St. Francis. You guys never even seen a shot like that in water polo. For all the water polo you've watched, you've never seen that. And it's not good. It's a save. St. Francis always beats Air Force. That's the way it goes. They lost to UOP after this game, though. And that's, that's just fine. UOP's better. UCLA women's soccer is ranked number three in the nation. Two weekends ago, they went and they played Duke, the number two ranked school. They were tied up with 28 to go. Raylan Turner gets the ball. One touch. Boom. Scores. I think her dad was an NFL player. Her mom played soccer. Her sister played soccer. Just athletic family. She was the first college player to sign an NIL deal with Nike, I believe. And she's just hitting game winners. The next weekend, they play the number one ranked seed, North Carolina. And Turner says, give me that ball. I'll take it. She's downfield. She's got the pass if she wants it. She's got the shot if she wants it. What's she going to go? She's going to go shot. Another game winner. Damn. UCLA says, hey, standings makers, eat shit. We're number one. And that brings us to the last segment of the show, the most important one. I need your help. Fan of the week. 
I got four options for you here, and I need everyone to let me know A, B, C, D. Last week was a consensus. This week, I think it might be a little more tough. I don't know. Let me know what you got.